Welcome to Low Cost Keeps. We're doing our first keyboard roundup. So these are the first five keyboards that were in the very intro video. There was a sixth one, but that was an unboxing. I uh, haven't reviewed that one yet. Um, yeah, yeah, so since this one fell down, we're gonna get started with it. This is the Mage G Sky 68. Um, Hippiotech just did a video about it. Um, it's $29. It's, it's 30 bucks. I don't, I don't know why he said it was 20. It's 30 bucks. Um, he did the one mod I said you could do to that board, which was a silicone mod. Um, he used a flex seal. Sure, whatever. Same difference. Rubber in the bottom. Um, yeah, th he's right. He threw it in the trash. He's right. This, it, this will work. It's not nice. There are better keyboards in this lineup for less money, um, even if you want the arrow keys. Uh, don't just love yourself, hug yourself, respect yourself. Uh, don't buy this. I mean, you can't, but I'm going to judge you. All right. The Dyra DK61 SE. This keyboard gets more views on my channel than anything. I don't know why. It didn't work on half my computers. It was $19. Oh yeah, I score these things. This thing was a 13 out of 30. This thing was a 14 out of 30. Um, don't buy it. Mage G Star 61. This was the first keyboard reviewed on the channel and uh, we got things out of order. So uh, I was supposed to review this one next. Oh well, moving on. This uh, is a good keyboard. It's, it's bare bones, it's entry level, no feet. Um, this won't do you wrong. Um, I have modded this one slightly, um, lubed up the stabilizers, um, did a kind of like a band-aid mod for this guy. Um, yeah, this, I'm not, I'm not going to judge you harsh if you buy the, uh, Star 61. I'm going to judge you if you buy this guy 68. All right, this was the, oh, yeah, uh, went out of order. This thing is a 17 out of 30, so solid, uh. This guy, the E U S O Z six eight six. Um, yeah, this this is okay. Uh, again, twenty two dollars to twenty six dollars, depending on the colorway and if you're getting rid of them. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it worked. There were no complaints. I didn't have any funkiness. It doesn't have some of the built-in function media controls. Some people like um, there are more controls on other keyboards here i really don't go too far into the controls i just want function delete um that's about it but yeah uh, has arrow keys mine was special it came with two of the right arrow key yeah it was a 16 out of 30 solid keyboard uh middle of the road again uh not this guy this guy is the tazera uh, TK61. No feet. One of two drawbacks. The other drawback is, you can see it there, putting keycaps. Some people hate putting keycaps. I understand. But this thing is heavier, better quality, and it, it was just a better keyboard. There's more default functions out of the, you know, hit the function out of the gate. No programming needed. It's got color LEDs. Yippee, RGB, gamer goodness. Um, this was $18.99. And for $18.99, it scored a 20 out of 30. This thing was a solid, solid keyboard. I enjoyed typing on it. Um, sometimes I can't wait to get back. Like this, this is an aluminum keyboard. Uh, review coming soon. I did swap everything out on it. Um, this is nice to type on. So is this. This one may actually go to the office office. Uh, I've split hybrid work. Um, if you hate putting keycaps, just just buy other keycaps. These were like nine bucks. These were like six bucks. No, seven. These were six. They're all PPT on Amazon. Some of them are on closeout. So yeah, okay, just pay attention. Watch, you can find better keycaps. Um, yeah. This was the first roundup. We're going to be modding soon. We're going to do nature's foam. Come back for more. I still need a... Uh... Come back for more doesn't sound like a good good exit. I need a 
I need a better. 